All right, y'all. Pretty excited today. Uh, I'm going to be doing something that we haven't done on the channel before, but we do a lot uh, this time of year. It is a beautiful, sunshiny morning. There is not a cloud in the sky, and we are going to go cut some hay. in Florida and we will be cutting Bahia grass today. When we cut our Bahia, pretty much any of our Bermudas, anything here in Florida, uh, it's very humid here. So we like to do a three day process. Day one is cutting. Day two, we let it dry. We fluff the hay, let it dry some more. Day three, bale. Super simple process. So today we're going to run you through the disc mower, show you how this thing works and go cut some hay. All right. So luckily enough, this is a cab tractor, cab glass, right? But we have air conditioning didn't have air conditioning you probably probably died this time of year it's been 98 here for the high another thing too that's great about the calves is when we're actually bailing mowing is, isn't so bad when we're bailing it kicks up a ton of dust and you will see that the glass here gets nasty from all that dust and stuff today we're mowing so I gotta drive about three miles down the road a lot of our fields are uh, local people's small farms we cut their farms we have some of our own actual hay fields that we planted but today uh, we're going to cruise down the road and we're going to do probably 20, 25 acres of Bahia. So let's go. slam this thing on the ground. All right. So, let me get down here to show y'all. These are the discs. This is called a disc mower. Here's the blades. These all spin counter-rotating of themselves, like so. And, as you can see right here, so it's about an inch off the ground. We got it. We don't like to go to the dirt but as close as we can to the dirt, this is the way it will be spinning right here. So all of these will be spinning counter, cutting as they go. This is the frame, this is the base. This will actually, this is on the ground. This will be dragging along the ground as I go. And what we're doing, let's flip it back up. So what we're doing is we're wanting to cut under the hay I say cut under. Cut as low as possible, one clean slice, and move on. We don't want to mulch it up like you would in a normal mower. We want it to stay as long as possible. That way when we bale it up, it can actually roll. So I'll be moving with a little speed too, probably six, seven miles an hour. So it cuts and it slides right under it. And you'll see when I cut, you'll see where it's kind of cut. I'll come around a couple times and the grass will actually be falling down. And then tomorrow, after the sun's been baking on it all day, we're gonna come out and dry it up. y'all that's my feet so it's nice and thick like I said this is Bahia you see all those seeds on top that's the seed tops so what I'm gonna do is since we've got a lot of fence here you can see the fence right trees pose a little bit of an issue too that's not a big deal but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get do one row up against the fence we're gonna cut that row I'll probably do uh, one or two we'll see how I feel 
Um, once that's laid down, I'm going to actually turn around and go the opposite way. So the tractor will always be sitting on the cut grass and then the mower will be over in the non-cut grass, obviously. So we don't want to run it over if we can help it. If we can not run it over, we don't want the tire tracks to mash down the grass and then we can't get as good a cut. So pretty straightforward. So uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. I'll show you what it looks like when she's working. PTO switch. Got it neutral. We're gonna go ahead and kick it on. We're gonna see it start to spin back here. All right. She's spinning. So I'm just gonna take it nice and easy on the first round and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that and then I'll get the cameras out and show y'all. I'm filming by myself today so it's gonna be a little challenging but uh, hopefully you get the gist of it. GoPro, but I want to show y'all what it looks like. So that took me about 30 minutes to do that. It was super thick. So that's all there is to it. Look at all that, all them bugs that were on there. Ooh, all the seeds and bugs. <laughs> That's why them cattle egrets are all over the place. You know, kicking up all this grass exposes all them caterpillars. I love those things. And trust me, if you're watching, you cannot run one over. I've never run one over before. It's trying to move to the next field. It just isn't trimming. We're gonna hang up a little bit back here. Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, y'all. So I got two down already. Uh, we were cutting those last fields pretty dang quick. I've got brand new sharp blades on here. Uh, whenever the blades are super sharp like that, I can haul ass. Yeah, so there's some turkeys that popped out of the other end of the field. Let's see if I can get them through the dirty glass on this tractor. Like a couple hands. Field three, they're already waiting for me. Lined up. That field is the one I did first. You can see how laid down it is already. So compare it to this. That's what this will look like. So I'm gonna go cut this and then I've got these back there to knock out and we'll be done with the, this pasture or this property for today all right y'all we are just finishing up by we i mean me i want to show you the difference between what it was when we got here and it's this is what three hours i think this field is when i cut it so this grass has been laying cut for three hours so super green obviously you can see that color in there so this is this is what we're working with you see that here let me get out here See how it's green, uh, dry green, kind of light green, and then I flip it over. You see, real light green on top. We flip it up, and then there's that real dark green. So it still needs to dry a lot. So as you can see, um, that's just the sun baking on it. It's breezy today, so that breeze is going to blow through and help dry it. Uh, that's why tomorrow uh, my dad will come over here and run the fluffer over it, and it'll... Essentially, it's rotating forks, and it'll sling that hay everywhere, and it'll essentially do what I just do with my hand. It'll flip it up and kind of uh, declump it so it's nice and open, and that wind will blow through there and dry it up real easy. So we'll come back in two days, and uh, we're going to rake it, put it in nice windrows, bale it up. All right, y'all. It is day three. We got a nice breeze up here on top of the hill, and the grass is now hay. So it's uh, the third day. So let me show you three days of drying compared to what it was before. I'm in that same one where I kicked it up and showed you how wet it was. There you go. You can see it's got a consistent, nice kind of olivey green, light olive, some brown, but that's what we want. See how flaky it is, nice and dry. 
that's how we can tell. I can smell it. I kind of know what it's supposed to smell like too because I've been doing this for a long time. But you'll see, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll show you the baler, the uh, Kubota over here, and we're gonna hook the rake up. The Kubota is just going to pull the rake. The rake just lays down. It's in a V shape. As it goes, it simulates literally like manually raking with the four the rakes that spin and it just pushes all that hay right to the center it's really awesome how simple it is but how effective it works so the rake as you can see has these tines on it uh, this is in the towing position so we actually pull it down a row with the truck they spin so these will be on the ground see these forks are super flexible right so when they're on the ground they're kind of flex a little bit almost like a uh, like a steel rake like the like a leaf rake almost um, we just pull it We've got the two hydraulic cylinders here run by these two remotes. We'll be hooked to the tractor. So all the tractor's doing is pulling it and it's going to raise these up and down. When I say it behind it, you can kind of get a better idea. I'll show you when it's actually in the field working, but this whole thing is going to come down on both sides and it's going to be in a V shape. It's going to bring all the hay right to the center. So this is our 459 mega wide. Uh, I'd say it has about 2000 bales. We've run about 2000 bales through this thing. Pretty simple process. I don't know how the hell these things work. Uh, essentially, the tractor will spin all the belts. It'll suck it up. So this is our pickup. That's actually the forks in there that spin and pick it up. And this will drop to the ground. We adjust that and that will actually grab the dead hay in the row and suck it up. That is where the hay comes in. It wraps in a circle. Once it's done, the computer tells me we open it up and out dumps the bale. bossing me around all the time even though I can literally see what he's doing <laughs> and he's fighting that old jack which sucks because apparently it's shot and that thing weighs like 10,000 pounds it. huh you gotta push it over I'll come out stand by in the cab this tells me how much hay is in there when it's almost ready and when it's done it tells me it's wrapping and then it tells me when it's done wrapping and then it tells me when to dump it baler is hooked up see it back there uh, it's going to be a little difficult to see just because of the dirty ass glass we have but uh, I'm gonna ease my way out here in the field when we get out here I will show you what windrows look like he's already got a couple and then um, we're gonna go ahead and get this baler fired up and start sucking up some dead grass and putting it in nice uh, round circles what are you doing buddy what are you doing are you gonna help today uh-huh so this is his pasture dad's wind rowing so when he goes by I'm gonna show you what that is he's on the phone as always probably anytime I film him today he'll probably be on the phone I don't know how he does it on the tractor on the phone but he manages So as you can see, he's just gonna drive around in circles. I actually have to get on the tractor, catch up to him. In theory, we wanna be able to suck it up as he's going, um, and that way he doesn't have to go over the rows again because it can kind of mess it up, and uh, that's all there is to it. So we're gonna adjust the pickup head down, I'll show you that, then we're gonna get over there and start running this thing and sucking this grass up. So this is our pickup head right down here. So we're just gonna slam this whole wheel down on the ground and as we go, it's going to be spinning and the hay is going to feed up in there. Hey buddy. Hey Bubba. Let me get around here. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get around here. It's helping me today, guys. So it's a simple, uh, as you can see, lowering the head down. Kind of, yeah. So this wheel is actually going to be resting on the ground. It's just kind of in a pit. You can see over here, it's fully on the ground. 
pretty easy. So, again, that thing's gonna be rolling, those, both, those wheels on both sides, it's gonna keep that level. As it goes, the ground's uneven or something, it's gonna kinda counter rotate and go and flex with the ground. So, let's get uh, sucking up some hay. All right, I'm gonna turn this on. He is not gonna like this. Watch. <laughs> he didn't freak out as bad as I thought he would. So I'm gonna run it up about, sorry, 1600 RPMs. There he goes. He's gone. We're gonna go ahead and bump her up. About 1600, so 400 RPMs. So that beep was saying it's done. So I stop. I'm gonna let it do its wrap cycle. All right, that beep says it's done. So now we're gonna open it up and hope it dumps a bale out. Dumped it out. Of course, you can't see it. I will show it from the other side. Once we do a couple more, good to go. So that should be good. We're reset at zero, and that means there's nothing in it. I'm gonna hit it in drive. And we're going to go again. Sixteenth round there. are done uh, probably took us about three hours got right at 55 bales not bad it's gonna stack up and just in the nick of time check that out kind of hard to tell because it's so bright out here but that is a big rainstorm and it's coming this way so um, you want to get the hay up and baled before it gets wet if it gets wet and then we got to refluff it uh, we can't put it in a roll if it's wet, so we always like to get it, you know, brought back and put in the barn if we can. Uh, but we're not going to do that today. If it rains on it, it won't be too bad. Now that it's baled, um, it just the top layer gets wet, so not as big a deal. That was our goal: get it all baled up. So 
that's it. Now we're going to load it up. So I'll do another video later uh, showing you loading up our goosenecks and how stacked we get that thing. Uh, thanks for watching.